Sales order processing is integral to the order to cash process. To help improve this process, Process Automation provides a pre-built automation template called Automatic Creation of Sales Order from Unstructured Data, or the 5LT bot for short. Oftentimes, sales order processing occurs through an internal sales representative who receives emails from buyers containing purchase orders in the form of unstructured files such as PDFs. The sales representative then parses through the information in these files to create sales orders manually and individually and as per HANA Cloud. As the number of sales orders increases, this process becomes increasingly intensive. The sales representative may spend hours or even days parsing through these purchase orders and manually entering information into the system, potentially making errors along the way. The 5LT bot works to alleviate these issues by automating steps along the way. It does so through two scenarios, the create sales order request scenario and the create sales order scenario. We will later dive deeper into these scenarios by running through the process flow. Automating the creation of sales order requests and sales order creation in SAP s hana Cloud allows enterprises to create a larger volume of sales orders in less time without human error. It also allows a sales representative to scale up and focus on other high priority tasks. Let's now run through the 5LT bot process flow, which shows how the bot can be used to turn a purchase order email into a sales order in SAP s hana Cloud. In this flow, you can see where each part of the process occurs, process automation, SAP s hana Cloud, or SAP Business Technology Platform. We start with the purchase order email. When the first scenario, create sales order request is executed, the bot scans each unread email in the sales representative's inbox, searching for keywords in the subject line. It then extracts the attachments from the corresponding emails and uploads the files into the Create Sales Order Automatic Extraction Fiori application. This application creates the sales order requests and uploads the email attachments to a document information extraction service. This document information extraction service extracts relevant information from the email attachments and adds this information to the sales order requests. Once this is complete, the bot creates an Excel file with the sales order request numbers and saves this file into a folder on the user's local desktop. The end user can then validate the information contained in the sales order requests and make sure that the information is correct. Now we move on to scenario two where the bot fetches the Excel files containing the sales order request numbers and uses this information to convert the sales order requests to sales orders in s hana At the very end, the bot sends an email to stakeholders with the bot execution status report and attachments. It is important to note that the bot can be scheduled to run unattended or can be triggered to run by the user on attended mode. We will now go through two demos to understand the process of creating a sales order manually and creating a sales order using the 5LT bot. Let's start with the manual case, where the sales order is created without use of the bot. First, the internal sales representative logs into SAP s hana Cloud and navigates to the Manage Sales Order Fiori application. From here, they can either create a sales order from scratch or with the reference. For this demo, the sales order will be created from scratch. They now select the sales order type, which in this case is a standard order, and we get a glimpse of the fields that must be entered in order to create the sales order. In order to fill out these fields, the sales representative navigates to their inbox, finds the email containing the purchase order, and downloads the attachments. From here, the sales representative goes back and forth, manually entering information from the purchase order into the corresponding fields in s hana for example, header data such as the address, which corresponds to fields in the order data and ship to party data subsections. We see the sales representative enter line item data from the purchase orders as well, such as information on the type of product, the sales unit, and the quantity. This process is incredibly time consuming, especially if this needs to be repeated for multiple sales orders, as we see here. Manual data entry is also error prone, as the user may make mistakes parsing the purchase order and filling out the corresponding fields. 
5LT makes the process much more efficient and less prone to errors by automating steps along the way. We will see this in the next demo, where the 5LT bot is run in attended mode to create the sales orders. First, the user opens up the desktop agent and executes scenario 1, create sales order request. In the background, the bot begins to scan the emails of the internal sales representative and extracts attachments from unread emails containing specified keywords in the subject line. Once these attachments are extracted, the bot automatically logs into SAP s Cloud and navigates to the Create Sales Order Automatic Extraction Fiori application, where it uploads these attachments to create the sales order requests. Note that there are three statuses in the processing flow. The first indicative of whether the information extraction step is complete, the second indicating whether the data is complete, and the third indicating whether the sales order is finally created. We see that two sales order requests have been created and the first status for both is gray. This means that the job of the bot is complete and the document information extraction tool is now parsing through the purchase order and inputting relevant information into SAP s hana Once complete, an Excel file containing the status of the execution and sales order request numbers is generated and saved onto the user's computer. Additionally, an email is sent to stakeholders with the bot status and log report. We see that the first status is now green for both sales order requests, meaning the document extraction service was successfully run. The second status indicates data completeness, which we see is complete for one of the sales order requests, but incomplete for the other. Data incomplete indicates that there were fields which were uninterpretable by the document extraction service. The user must go in and input this information manually. Let's look at the scenario for which the data is complete. We see that the document extraction tool has successfully parsed the purchase order and filled the corresponding fields in Asperhana. In the scenario for which the data is incomplete, we still see that the extraction tool was able to parse most of the required information, such as unit price, net value, and the description. Though it was not able to interpret the quantity, the extraction tool had still done much of the heavy lifting. From here, the sales representative can either simulate a sales order creation or do a conversion of the sales order request to sales orders. Mass conversion of sales order requests to sales orders can also be done by executing scenario 2, create sales order. This is not included in the demo, but if the user chooses to go this route, the bot would take the Excel file containing the sales order request numbers as an input and convert the sales order request contained in the file to sales orders. After this is done, an email would be sent to stakeholders with the bot execution status report and email attachments.